Hey guys, what's up? Hope everybody's having a good day out there today and welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher. I always uh, appreciate you guys checking today's video out. And today we're gonna continue our series on different type of environmental conditions that affect fish and we're gonna talk about light intensity. Um, I think it's a really, in, really important um, aspect of fishing. You guys hear me talk about it a lot if you watch my other channel and two, The Mangling with Randy Blockett. So I think you guys are gonna find this uh, you know, pretty informative too. Okay, guys, um, there's, if you watch a lot of the stuff that I talk about, you know, I'm talking a lot about um, water clarity, water temperature, light intensity, all that stuff together. And uh, when it comes to understanding fish behavior, and not only understanding fish behavior, but it comes to deciding how to fish as far as what type of lures you need to fish and the areas you need to fish, light intensity is critical with that. And light intensity, it's not as... It's not as simple as just saying, well, it's, you know, it's really bright out today or it's, it's cloudy and, you know, it's, it's sort of dark out. There are levels of light intensity that change throughout the year because, first of all, um, when you're talking about the seasonal light intensity, as the seasons go by, you know, the, the, the angle of the sun and the sky changes. And even though you may have um, a bluebird day where there's not a cloud in the sky, the light intensity in say June is much different than the light intensity in December. So that's one differential thing there. The other thing that determines light intensity is the, uh, um, the, the type of clouds that you have. The, not, not only the type of cloud, but the density of the cloud and basically s some atmospheric conditions like that. All that type of stuff uh, affects the light intensity. It could be fog, it could be haze, it could be a lot of different stuff that goes in there. So from one end of the spectrum, you have a bluebird sky, like say after a cold front passes through and you know that you've got that real crisp, super bright sun. And then on the other end of the spectrum, like the lowest light condition you're going to have, aside from, um, you know, being dark, would be like some type of a heavy rainstorm or early and late in the day, right before the sun sets or right before the sun comes up. Now, all of these will affect fish in different ways. A lot of it affects, you know, based upon the species. Because let's say, for example, a smallmouth bass, sometimes they're more active on a sunny day under, you know, really bright light intensity conditions. And other fish, like maybe a largemouth bass, um, bite better under low light conditions, you know, like cloudy and rainy days. So one of the things you sort of have to do is to study a little bit about the fish and we'll be we'll cover that here on the channel to some extent but anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna lay out like i'm trying to do on the fishing teacher channel here trying to get intro information basic information i'll sort of lay out the general guidelines for light intensities and how it affects fish now let's talk a little bit we'll start from the low light conditions and then move up to the brighter conditions in general low light conditions are best for fishing. Um, they're, the fish are more active, they, they, they feel more secure. It's like almost like low light conditions provide some type of a cover to them. So under low light conditions, you're gonna have fish that roam a lot more. It's like, say for example, if a bass lives, say, there, say if there's a blow down tree in the water and, and there's fish that live on that tree, there may be bluegills that live on it or bass or whatever um, on a typical, sunny partly cloudy day on a on a low light condition like a cloudy or rainy day or maybe real early in the morning or real late in the evening those bass will move away from that tree a lot of time or the fish and they'll swim down the bank sort of out into open water more and that's what happens in low light conditions fish disperse more and they swim more out in open areas and that's why a lot of times they're easier to catch um, under low light conditions also, um, the water clarity has some type of an effect too, because the clearer the water is, the more important that you have low light conditions to get those fish to move away from that cover and swim out in open water. Let's say, for example, we'll go back to the tree example. Let's say you have a blow down tree and you've got water visibility clear where you can see down in the water five feet or so. In low light conditions, those fish are definitely gonna roam away from that tree. But say you have a muddy condition, say that same tree is in a lake or river, whatever, that has six inches of visibility. Under those dirtier water conditions, low light is not necessarily gonna make those fish move away because they, the, the, the dirty water acts to, as cover to some extent for them. So they don't roam out in dirty waters much more. They don't, they don't have the ability to see as far. 
so they tend to stay shallower and around some type of an object more. Now, as you get clouds, um, once clouds start to appear, and say you get past that early and late in the day period, say it's up at 11 o'clock in the morning and it's partly cloudy. In that situation, you're gonna have a mix. It's gonna affect, it's gonna affect the fish in different ways because you're gonna have some fish that will uh, move around in open water. Some are gonna be tucked into cover. Some are gonna move around in open water like if the wind starts blowing because the wind provides more cover too. But in a partly cloudy scenario, most of the time, you got a variety of movement from the fish as far as the, how they move and the type of cover they, they relate around. And again, a lot of that depends on the wind because the calmer the conditions, the more those fish are gonna be tucked into cover even on a partly cloudy day. Now on a sunny day, if you've got a bright sunny day and there's not any clouds in the sky or whatever like that, under those conditions most of the time, even if the water's clear or if it's dirty, the bass are going to be around some type of a co some type of cover. They're going to be under a boat dock. They're going to be around a stump. They may move to deeper water and get on the bottom. There may be some a rock pile on the bottom. But bass and fish in general, when it's sunny out, they don't like to roam around a lot in open water. Now, one exception to that would be like a smallmouth bass. So, so there are certain species out there that don't mind the sun and they'll roam around a little bit. But for the most part any type of game fish or fish that preys on other fish and every fish does. I mean, you can take a bluegill or a black perch or a crappie, anything like that, and they feed on other fish. In sunny conditions, they like to be around shade or cover. That's why on bright sunny days, uh, most of the time, any fish you catch is gonna be around cover or shade. Bluegills like to be around shady trees. Crappie maybe like to be around the uh, top of brush piles or in the shade of brush piles. Uh, catfish maybe like to be tucked in on the bottom, you know, around rock or something. Um, bass just, or fish in general, just prefer to be around some type of cover. And the reason they want to be around cover is that cover offers them an ambush point. Because fish are hunters. I mean, it's just like anything else. When somebody's hunting, you're up in a tree stand or you're tucked in in a blind or something like that. It's the same with fish. They need to be hidden in order to ambush that prey. So always think of fish in terms of being hunters like that. But in general, guys, when you're laying out a, a basic foundation, and like I said, we'll do a lot more detailed videos with us in the purpose on the, in, the, in the future. In general, on the darker low light conditions, the lower light conditions you have, the more active the fish are gonna be, the more they're gonna be roaming around, the eat, they're gonna be easier to catch. And as you get more sun in the scenario, whether it be partly cloudy or bright sun, those fish get a little bit more difficult to catch. Um, they don't roam around as much. They tuck around cover more. And uh, that's just the, the nature of fish right there. So anyway, I hope it gives you guys a basic understanding. Like I said, well, there's, there's so much else to it there. We'll break this stuff down in future videos, but um, much appreciated you guys tuning in and we'll talk later. See you.